You had a great season. This was just another step for you. Just take me through the touchdown. Uh, that was a big play in this game. Uh, we call, we dialed up a really good play. Uh, coach called a really good play on third down. Uh, we kind of practiced that, practiced that against that look this week, and we got the look we wanted. And Andy threw a great ball, line protected well, and uh, that's, that was the outcome. Chris, how much would you say you guys needed this? Uh, it was much needed. Uh, I mean, we y'all seen uh, the the games we've been through. Uh, we had two consecutive bad games, and uh, just to get a win against the uh, reigning champs uh, was huge. And I feel like that's a great, great step uh, we're taking forward. How does the movement at quarterback between Andy Dalton and Taysom Hill? How does it feel for you from the receiver position? Obviously, y'all work through this a lot, but does that have any impact on your game at all? Uh, not really. I just try to help them as much as possible. Um, they're both great quarterbacks. Uh, as long as Jameis, but uh, they're they're doing a great job. Uh, OC is doing a good job, so uh, I'm I'm just trying, I'm just there to uh, be supportive and uh, make sure I'm doing my job so they can count on me. Chris, that third quarter offensively is probably one of the better quarters that this offense has had this season. What was going from your perspective going right with the offense, and were there any major changes you guys made at halftime going into that third quarter to, uh, offensively? Uh, not really. I mean, we just uh, came out aggressive. Uh, we wanted we. We knew we had to move the ball down the field and score points to win the game. So uh, that's what we did coming out of halftime. And we, uh, we just started clicking in the second half. And uh, like we said, we just had uh, took over the momentum. And uh, defense played a great game also. So uh, like I said, uh, uh, we just got some good plays going early and just built on that in the second half. How much pride do you take in your ability to stretch the field and really make some of those deep plays happen? Uh, I feel like that's my job. That's why they drafted me to come here. Uh, I feel like uh, I could just stretch the field and, and try to get open uh, at all times when I'm running the route. And I feel like I just try to make it easier on the quarterback. And my teammates make me a lot better. Uh, and I feel like uh, the coaches and everybody in the organization, uh, we definitely needed this win. And uh, we come out with some energy in the second half. And I feel like uh, we got some momentum going forward into next week. Can you talk about the advantage of having Jarvis back out there with you? Uh, it's huge having him on and off the field. Um, he's a leader. He's a great leader, uh, as he was through his career. Uh, he has, he's got that uh, dog mentality, so it, it rubs off on other people. And having him off the field, when things aren't going well, he's always there picking everybody up and uh, doing all the little things uh, that matters the most. I feel like Jarvis is, uh, was a great pickup, and uh, he, he's definitely helped me out uh, throughout my first year. So. Chris, when you guys are down three offensive linemen, you're going against a guy like Aaron Donald. Do you guys put any like pressure on yourself or anything? Like, hey, I got to get open quicker. Does anything change with the approach? Like, just given that circumstance. I mean, yeah, it's Aaron Donald, but uh, it's it's really a race against the D line, uh, uh, and we knew we was playing against Aaron Donald, and uh, he's a great player, probably one of the best players in the league. So, uh, we definitely wanted to speed up everything and and try to get open, but we just wanted to stick to our game, and uh, we knew if we played our game, it was going to come out well. So.